Hello everyone, we are here with the Chifter. And lately there came up a lot of um, comments. I mean, I had this comment, so I, I want to I wanna have your, your opinion. He's, he's coming at me blind too. Yeah. I was watching him do this with David Willey as well. So, so, so it's, it's about the autoloader and, and Russian and Soviet tanks. Okay. One guy commented, I think the biggest problem of Russian tanks are the circle autoloader and the lack of blowout panels. And because some people, I think, claim or state, maybe it's wrong or not, I don't think so. it's necessarily that the autoloader is the reason why Russian tanks explode that, that easily. But from my understanding is, you know, most tanks you have, unless you have blowout panels, you have the ammunition in the turret and it doesn't make really a difference if you get a hint in the turret and you have an autoloader or not. I think the autoloader makes, might be a bit more complicated because it's in a circle probably that more. But ultimately, is it that big of an issue? Uh, you are generally correct. Uh, so the, the, the question is blowout panels. How many tanks in service around the world today have the ammunition entirely separate from the crew? I think the newest Leopard, I think. Two Maybe the newest Leopard. Leopard. I, haven't the seen, I haven't seen the newest Leopard. So, so I, I know that the 2 e 4 doesn't. It mm -hmm. has some in the, in the hull, I think, and some in the turret. The, you, yeah, the stuff in the turret is protected, but the one yeah, in the hull is not. Yeah. And I don't know if the newest one has it or not, and if, if, if you know or not. So if it's declassified. A short correction in addition about the newest Leopard variants. They still have ammo in the hull like the previous models, although with the 2A6M, the lowest row of the armor was removed. This was due to mine protection. The Leopard 2A7V although has a new feature which Chifton probably likes, namely a hydraulic track tensioner. Anyway, back to the recording. Um, the Abrams has blowout pants. The Abrams is the only one that I will tell you, I will stand up hand on heart and tell you every single round is separated from the crew by a blower panel. The, then I think the, the, the T90M should have them, but he still has an auto loader in there. So it doesn't really help. In that yeah, I, I, I don't think you can blow out panel a carousel auto loader, an under turret auto loader. You can for let's say Leclerc or K2 or whatever, but the, the, the difference between the auto loader in the bustle having, being separated by blow out panels and the spare ammunition elsewhere in the tank. Same with Leopard 2. Leopard 2, maybe not the A7, again, I'd, I'd need to look, uh, is uh, the ammunition in, behind the loader is a blowout panel. In the front left hole, not so much. So at least the higher up ammunition, which is more likely to be hit, that's safe-ish, as long as the door's closed. Which is another argument in favor of auto loaders because the Leclerc auto loader door is this big versus an Abrams auto loader, you know, an Abrams, not an auto loader, an Abrams door is this big and it sh sh takes forever. Um, the, there are two, conf two ways people are getting confused with the T-72 type carousel autoloader. One is, oh, the turret keeps ejecting. Okay, the turret keeps ejecting. That also happened in the Second World War and with every other tank. Well, that's true. Uh, and even if the turret doesn't eject, if your ammunition explodes inside the tank, I don't think you as a crewman care. Yeah. If the if the turret stays on the on the tank, I, I mean I mean you're a mush against the wall of the yeah. inside of the turret either way. This is more again about like um, TikTok war in contrast. Make does it make a difference? Yeah, I mean de dead is dead. I mean yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Are they are you more dead because your your turret went flying? Uh, so the the real question is, can you have an under turret carousel autoloader? that is blowout panel compatible. And I'm not sure you can, at least not easily. I mean, what's the whole deal with the carousel? Can you, can't you rebuild the auto loader that just one round comes out? I mean, I mean the, the whole thing is, the, if I understand it correctly, the T90M, they built in uh, the blowout panels in the back of the turret, but they also kept the old T72 auto loader in, in a carousel, which basically goes around the whole turret. I, I'm not sure it's possible. Uh, so what separates the, the turret floor from the ammunition right now? I mean, it's, it's a thin sheet of metal. Okay, let's say we make it a thick sheet of metal. And let's say somehow you seal the turret well enough 
that the entire turret basket is the blowout panel uh, blowout protection. And I'm not sure that's going to work, but let's assume it can be done. You still have the part where, where the, the round and uh, the round of propellant both come up, but right now it's a little spring-loaded flap. In order to turn that into some sort of a sliding, heavy armored door, I'm not sure there is the room under the turret to create such a thing, let alone the additional weight. Because mm. you're, you're now making this turret a whole hell of a lot heavier if you're trying to make the entire thing blow up protected. Um, so I, I th the way of doing a carousel autoloader, an under turret floor autoloader, which is fully protected, is the way shown by the M1 TTB, which had all three men in the front of the hull, like a T14, like the Abrams X. And you built basically a bulkhead between the crew compartment mm. and everything behind the crew compartment. There were 44 rounds underneath the carousel in the M1 TTB, as opposed to 22, let's say, in the T72. Because you didn't need to leave any room in the turret for the people. It was just ammunition yeah. everywhere on, in the turret ring. And so you had a large capacity, you had full blowout protection, and uh, no downside, really. So that, I, I think that's the only way that you can get a carousel autoloader to be protected. Now, is it the fact that it's an autoloader that's exploding? No, because other countries have shown it is perfectly feasible to build an autoloader with blowout protection. The carousel is a problem because you can't blow it out, and the other problem is yeah, you got 22 rounds in the carousel. Where are the other 22 rounds in the tank? They're not in the carousel. They are scattered around the tank. Mm. Some of them are scattered around the tank in the turret with no protection whatsoever. So uh, there was an interview with a couple of Ukrainian tankers recently. They said, yeah, we, we go into battle. We only have 22 rounds. So what they are doing is, I think Finland does the same thing, is they load the carousel to maximum, but they do not carry any of the other ammunition mm scattered around the tank, which is easier to hit, easier to explode. And so if you hit the round that's at, let's say, at the, the command, under the commander's leg, and you hit that propellant, which is easier to hit because it's higher up, and there's no protection, that explodes. It may or may not kill the commander, but it probably will set off the explosion underneath you, and that will kill your tank. So basically, the, the, the rationale from the T90M with the blowout panels would be to get rid of those 22 auto rounds in the mm -hmm. turret and everywhere. Yeah. Ah, so okay, now it makes kind of sense. So this is similar to what Taloga notes in his book about the T90 MS. Russian studies of combat experiences concluded that the major source of catastrophic ammunition fires in the T72 tank was the ammunition scattered around the fighting compartment, not necessarily the ammunition in the auto loader cassette in the hull floor. By shifting 10 rounds of this ammunition into the new protected bustle, the threat of ammunition fires was reduced while at the same time freeing up space for a more extensive array of sensors and electronics. This bustle has blast doors to separate it from the fighting compartment in the event of an ammunition fire. Of the remaining ammunition, 22 rounds are in the improved AZ-185M2 outer roller cassette and 8 on the engine compartment bulkhead. The question then is, if you have that bustle autoloader on the, on the new T90, uh, do you carry any spare ammunition anywhere else? Yeah. And how can you protect that? And that, that requires climbing into a, a, a latest generation Russian tank, and I, I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon, unless the Ukrainians are nice enough to let me have a look. Which probably will happen eventually. Well, I think we covered that topic. Well, we, we generally have. And uh, I, I think the other thing to look at is all the new tanks that are coming out. They're all coming out with autoloaders. Abrams X, the KF-51 Panther, uh, K2. The, the autoloaders are the way to go these days because the liabilities are not using one. They're just too high. Okay, perfect. So, thank you very much. Thank you for all watching right, and see you next one. time.